previously on The Last Door. After Coffin's sudden death, Mr. Wakefield travels to the island of uh, Ellismore to search for the ancient Chronomedian, a supposed oh. path to the other side. He discovers the island inhabitants ter hide a terrible secret. They stole the plot of Wicker Man. <laughs> they instill primordial terror in ritual subjects for them to cross the door and come back as hideous abominations. Wakefield is himself subjected to this ritual and transported to an endless land of fog, where we finally, he finally s seems to meet his missing patient, David. Finally. Finally. God. Is Wakefield still going to be Huel Hauser? Well, gee, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> he must have stopped. Oh, he must be stopped. It's the smallest font. It's Why so it? tiny. Why is it tinier than all the rest of it? I don't know. It's really weird. Oh, oh I'm a lady, I think. Or maybe just a guy with a man bun. Um, or a guy with a backwards cap. Oh, yeah. He's radical. He's radical, dude. He's going to kick up a surfboard just some kick flips. <laughs> We have come this far. Why is it so tiny? I don't know. Oh, it's taking control away from me. Oh, remember that mini episode we played where it was all like... Yeah, that's true. We weren't supposed to do that, though. That was just like an, uh, that was an extra. True. To seek our work ruined now. To see our work ruined now. Yeah. They're not seeking it. They just, they just want to see the thing. Oh, no. That was DeVitt, I think, right? Nope. Be right. Bye. Skip. Netflix. Skip. <laughs> oh no! This was the uh, opening for um, BoJack Horseman. I wanted to listen to that. Oh, if only. We left the black waves of that sea behind and walked through the mist. At times, gusts of wind parted the mist, revealing a barren landscape under a dying sun. At first, I could not contain my many questions. So you, many. So many questions. Do you like Pink's hot dogs? What kind of dog is that? But DeVitt's only reply was a grave silence. I didn't understand. Eventually, I lapsed into an uneasy quiet and resolved to follow my patient. I knew not to wear. We wandered through the vast desert without any apparent goal. Just like playing this video game. <laughs> On occasion, vague shapes appeared in the distance. Crumbling towers and abandoned cities. Lost amongst the rippling dunes. Oh, those dunes are ripped. <laughs> oh no, it's a sandworm. Oh my god, new dune trailer. New dune trailer came out today. The passage of time lost its meaning. It had traversed... I had traversed that world all my life all the world's life our journey was eternity just like this game then the man on my side whom i had followed for so long stopped he spoke for the first time are you ready to do a french accent oh is this me i, I believe so it's very they, hard to tell they the said he spoke they're for the no first longer time. colors and i'm really like color coordinated. well remember so. didn't he also have white font you might be right so. we are in the end the threshold <laughs> Okay, if that's a French accent. Yes, it is the starting point, Doctor. The first place to look. I will be waiting on the other side. There you go. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm getting there. So remember this. I will not be here forever. Zaktis will light your way. But then you will be alone. That's pretty good. Season 2, Episode 4. Beyond the curtain. We look beyond that curtain. What's there? Another door. Oh, no. They said it was the last one. <laughs> oh, we're playing as DeVitt, I think, now? Oh, man. I can't tell. I really can't tell. Because I literally have, the, I have face blindness. Well, and they both have the same haircut, I think. Yeah. Guys, are we playing as DeVitt or are we playing as Huel? What could, my what could my companion demand? So I guess we are playing as Yule. Yeah, because he doesn't know anything. The threshold. I knew of this. Strange memories returned to me. And those cryptic words, darkness will light your way. It is not the first time I had heard them. They were from a dream, a terrible dream, when I had begun to follow the trail of the missing patient. I'm just Pepe the Muppet. <laughs> not sure. I'm not going to talk to any of these people. I know I probably should, but... uh. Why not? What do they gotta say? I don't know. They got like fish faces, dude. You're not gonna talk to people with fish faces? They're wearing like those pussy hats. Man, I remember those. I do. What a simple time that was. What a simple time that was. <laughs> what an easy life we lived. In this ancient place, the ancient shadows created by humans, resonating temp ter reasoning tremble in sheer terror. 
Its name is Aido, the Last Curtain. Got All to right. interrogate. Yeah, that was about as, about as much information as I thought. Let me get a shot of this! Let me get a shot of this man's got a squid for a face! <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that normal? <laughs> you walk around the supermarket like that? Does that stink? The scorching light. <clears throat> the scorching light of the dead sunset bleeds through the petrified fingers. Ooh, that was good. My eyes burn. I feel the melting of the candle wax. That was really good. That was like. Uh, I feel that's what Colt is talking like. That was like Scar from. Uh, from. Uh, 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 what is it? What's his name? <laughs> it's Dr. Claw. Dr. Claw! There we go, there thank you. Go. Yeah. Yeah, it was Dr. Next Claw. time, catch it. Face slash torso cam clips the dialogue a bit. It's a bit awkward since inventory border and dialogue border are different. It's true. Suck it. You know we what? Fuck this game. <laughs> Fuck it. Why do, Why aren't they the same? Why do, Why is it different? I thought they were pretty close, honestly, last time I oh, checked. Oh, look at this. Let me watch it again. Oh, no, oh. I can't. Okay. But yeah, look at that. I hate this game. <laughs> you used to like it a lot. I did. Come All on. right. There you go. What's this guy sound like? This guy sounds like, Us, this, this ruins built by being slugs forgotten grants access to the last threshold. You are welcome to enter the ruins, but you will need to find your own key in order to reach the threshold. I really hope that this guy has more dialogue <laughs> later on. Oh. <laughs> no, he's gone. <laughs> Aw, oh, Kiko Man contributed. The man at the entrance said that these ruins contain the access to the threshold, but I see nothing. David said it is the starting point, the first place to look. Darkness will light your way. What did he mean? My hands are full, but I love the Toki Thank you. War Tooth Toki guy. Toki War Tooth. That's exactly what I was going for. Yep. I see nothing but ruins. What is that that David said? Now, now look. That's dialogue. No, I fucking know, but that's the problem. So stupid. All the dialogue is sitting there except for dialogue with other people, which is like a majority of the game. Yeah. I hate this. I hate this stupid <laughs> game. What a poorly designed game. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's all, it's all the little things that start like adding up eventually. Yeah. It looks like a poster for a theatrical show, but it is neither a title nor a date. So how the fuck does it look like a poster <laughs> for a theatrical? It's just a picture. I mean, you've had pictures of like movies and stuff that don't have the date under it, right? Like yeah, but I posters. know what they are because I've seen that movie and poster before. That's this guy's true. never seen this thing, and he thinks it's a poster for a show. That's true. That's true. All right, all right, you're right. Perhaps it, that doesn't even fucking look like anything. How do you know this is a show or a? Uh, perhaps it will prove useful. All right. <laughs> all right. If you say if so. If you say so, game. Did you take it? I did take okay. it. Okay. Just double checking. I'm trying to look for my favorite walkthrough. I can't find it, but we'll see. I see nothing but ruins. What is it David said? Darkness will light your way. Oh, God damn it. Sorry. It's okay. Your background popped up. Oh my God. Well, it's just my Steam records. Oh yeah, that's see true. how many fucking Steam bad. gains I own, so my EP goes up. Cool Reservoir Dogs poster. <laughs> that's pretty accurate, honestly. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It, it kind of looks like a band poster um, for like some kind of shitty band. <laughs> Like some emo band. Ethan's e peen is going up. Got all, I gotta see all those games, dude. Oh god, okay, so I got that poster. Do I give the poster to the guy, maybe? I'll give the poster to this dude. See what he says. You just want him to say stuff. Yeah, I didn't say anything. What'd he say? These ruins built by beings long forgotten the threshold. Okay, yeah, it's just what he said. It's before. the same thing as last time. Great. Alright, so now we're here. We can only go back. Thrillo has also contributed. Guys! Thank you, Thrillo. Stop doing that. We're gonna play that amnesia scene and we're gonna play with all the lights off, except we can't. <laughs> yeah, we can't really play with all the lights. Otherwise, you, won't be able to you know what? That's actually kind of a problem, because that game's pretty dark. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so I have this fucking poster, but I don't know what to do with it. You've never seen any amnesia Thrillo? Wow, I'm very curious to see what you think of it. I'm gonna make Mike play this game interesting. I mean, that, that sounds like you, Thrillo. Am I gonna, maybe I'll show the poster to this guy? No. Maybe this guy? No. Maybe I can go this way? I think you have to keep going right from the poster area. Oh, this is new. Oh. Whoa, this guy is interesting. Raise your arms for the wind calls our name! 
The hour has come for us to take the flight one last time. <laughs> okay. I hope he falls hurts himself. <laughs> Man, this is all new. These cultists are also goofy sounding. I wish they would like put a little more serious effort into them. You know? One of them sounded very creepy. Yeah. And that was it. <laughs> the other ones just sound goofy. Oh, hey, this is the game. The, the door. This is the first house. That I oh ran man, into. maybe the game would get better now. Yeah, I know, right? The pendulum strokes are uh, sickly slow, but they seem to keep time in this place. Sickly slow. Oh wait, I can't go this way. That's why. You know, it's funny, when I was, so, so I uploaded the reminder on Instagram for people to check out this stream, and I found a picture from the very opening of the first game, and I was like, I bet we're probably gonna come back to this house at some oh, point. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was right. A silhouette of a strangely shaped head. Doesn't look, does not look like a head at all, but okay. Oh, man. Man, who's smoking up in here? <laughs> Yeah, this is dang this is dangerous. This door is locked. Oh man, this is a dank ass house. There's <laughs> a bunch of paintings all over the place. Oh, that's not how you hang paintings. I wonder how you get hang paintings like that on the ceiling. Yeah, right? That's not hanging. That you'd have to like hammer them into the This is the only way. And like through the frame and through everything. the frame, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's something inside the birdcage. An octopus? <laughs> oh, it's some kind of root! It seems to have a human shape. Oh, why does it, yeah it does. It's got some boobies, dude. Cook that root again. Yeah, examine that. Look at the boobs, dude. Oh, yeah, bro. Look at that shit. Oh, dude, it's got some oh, boobies, shit. dude. We're gonna get in trouble on Twitch. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, can't Oop. show this. Can't show this oh, on, hey, on oh, Twitch. Game. Oh, oh, dude. No, wait. Oh, hey, y'all right. hey, cool. Don't we'll talk we'll, about this. Well, yeah, don't tell nobody. Don't, don't tell, tell anybody nobody. on Twitch. Don't, don't tell nobody we got them titty roots around here. <laughs> mm -mm. It's a squid billy. Yeah. The last door is the first door? A mandrake root. Oh yeah, that's from Harry Potter. A turf wrote that. Hmm. Well, it's not really from Harry Potter. It was just oh shit. Oh my gosh, it's a. There's something inside that cage. A shadow staring at me with its dead eyes. Is it a shadow or does it have eyes that I can see? It's a shadowy figure with dead eyes. Give him some roots. Hey man. I thought he wanted root. some, but it didn't look like he did. Oh. <laughs> I can see something in it. No, through it. As though I were staring into a dark void. Off in some remote distance, colorful shapes flow in seemingly impossible patterns. Okay. Well. No. Oh. Uh-oh. Back in simpler times. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah DeVitt, Edward Street, 24 Westminster, London. Correct. Oh, wait, and then maybe this is DeVitt talking. Oh, yeah, I should say this stealing, stalling, and send it. Send, set the plan in motion. But what then? Lead my old friend to uh, this dangerous journey. Who is this guy? I don't know. He's French now, so sorry. Canon. Almost halfway to amnesia, says Matt. The shadow's gone. You have stuff tonight. Thanks, Madagami, for contributing some more bits. I mean, not bits, e-bucks. E yeah, thanks a lot. I'm so excited to play Amnesia. Apparently, yeah. DeVitt's been drinking. DeVitt, yeah. I we mean, both gonna, have. If, his, if he's going to send his friend off to his death, mm -hmm. he's going to drink a little, little, little booze to ease the pain. Anyway, so that guy just disappeared and a rusty key came. Yeah, and there's nowhere else to go, but I have a key, so I bet I can open a door now. There, probably that other door that's been locked. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, spooky. That's, oh, gosh. A key to a door. Wow, wow. this is a really long hallway. You know, that ain't an adventure game if there ain't a key. Mike and Ethan ascend to the being titty streamer. Yeah, well. Well, you know. At some point, it's got to come down to it. If we want to be popular. Um, well, unfortunately, we have this this great sponsorship with uh, Creepy Co. The Creepy so, Co. Um, we have to keep our shirts on, but we'd be like, Creepy Co! Creepy Co! And we'd put it on, like, our, our boobs. There you go. We'd, yeah, we'd, we'd put pasties on our we'll boobs of Creepy on. Co. I wonder if that would violate Twitch guidelines. Probably. Probably. I mean... Well, there are people who, like, body paint themselves naked on Twitch. Yeah, but if the body... I think the issue is with the cleavage, isn't it? Like, even girls with, like, low-cut tops end up getting in trouble. That's true. So I think it's, le it's, le it's less about what is actually being shown and covered and what is... If you can see cleavage, That's true. then kids are gonna turn to sin or something. Yeah, man. Uh oh. Is it a question of whether it's being sexualized? 
I mean, I don't think putting creepy co on your titties is sexual. Sexualized I think that's at all. just just that's just common courtesy and advertises a creepy co. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we got a. Ah! Did that scare you? That's kind of a little scary. It's <laughs> like a centipede thing in there. Is that being sexualized? That was a sexy centipede. <laughs> just like that. Look root. at all those sexy legs. This isn't David. Look at him. Oh. This is the guy who sent the letter to DeVitt. To, he hung himself. Oh, wow. So this is a very, this is a big callback. All the way to the beginning, yes. So what is, what is his voice? Dude, I don't remember. One thing. He was dead, basically. Yeah, we, we didn't we have always, a voice for him. So for you can once. come up with any voice you want for him. Uh, the words of my father, <laughs> so much has happened because of them. Alexander swears that this was a time we will succeed. Well, I had the hope, eh? Lord, we'll do all our mistakes. For yes, from the terrible haunted gaze. But, gosh, we should not accept the consequence of our actions. Yo! Yeah! <laughs> That's oh. what he said, and he jumped. Yeah, like, he himself. Him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much suffering, so many deaths. For what? What have we attained so far? Max? Left or right? So many tests were needed to find it. But now that we have, okay, all these books, their secret knowledge concealed for generations, waiting for some fool to unveil it all. Again, what does this say? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kiko Man said, "Ah, oh, never gonna take Max on that fishing trip. Time to practice the perfect cast." <laughs> Hang <Hey>, self. <laughs> That's how you. That's how you tie a noose. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Max. No Look at say this. no. <laughs> if you can hang yourself, no, you can hang not? a fish. <laughs> this letter, Vendit new quiz kite. It will be enough, I think. It's time to send it. Not nearly enough. The, this, I'm not sure that's enough to do the right thing to do. Oh, I butchered that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. That's pretty goofy. Doors. Uh, doors. Sure is hard tricking my friend to vet. <laughs> More like dimwit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna cross over with Yule and it's gonna have a wild set of voices. It's gonna be a weird country. It's just up. gonna be, yeah, it's just gonna be a bunch of down home guys chanting about mystery. Alright, now I have to remember how Huel Hauser sounds because. That was pretty cool. Yeah, really I kind of almost went into that territory. It's a little bit over, yeah. Wow, the shadow has vanished! A stale disc. I think it's a slate disc. A slate disc. A black disc. It's made of something like slate. Is it made of something like slate or, or is, is it slate? slate? A large crack in the wall. A few rays of unearthly light stream through it. Mm. Unearthly light. Yeah, like light from the moon. That's <laughs> not from Earth. I guess so. Wait, didn't it say it was sunlight? No, I guess not. Okay, whatever. The sun is also not from the moon. Like, it's, or from or the Earth. 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 Yeah. This guy's gonna cross over. Oh yeah, I already said that. Uh, stale disc. Stale disc. Like they a, said stale water in an earlier episode, so. That's true. Okay, so now I've got some kind of fucking root and a disc and a poster of an emo band. Mm. Good shit. What's this? Well, rocks have piled against the wall as if to conceal something. Probably a body. Probably. The ground is soaked in blood. Black feathers are strewn about. What happened here? I know. know. What happened there? We All know right. what happened there. Here's another thing I, that annoys me. Look at the, you can see like the line between where the two things are not really meeting. Oh yeah, it's like gonna come right, right here. Yeah. Right in a second. You can see it. I don't know if, that's, if there's Maybe any not. market Maybe quite out. See. They just weren't like actually overlapping. So you just saw like a line. <laughs> Of yeah, not, that's kind of weird. It's whatever, whatever. I'm the just indie finding, games are hard. I'm just finding things to hate at this point. All right, what does this say? An old gramophone. There's no disc. Ooh, Would a slight like disc, disc work? There we go. When I put the disc on the gramophone, it started spinning on its own. Wait, is that a rhyme? Is that a melody coming from the house? That's amazing. That's amazing. I love melodies. Oh, I can't go this way? Fuck you very much, and others a back door. Oh, no, 
was gonna be the same scare. Let's we'll see. Gonna Pose like... another door. That door was there before. Ooh, it's a new okay. door. I like that. That's cool. That's creepy. Uh. Cool. It's just a shadow of a lynx projected on the wall, you know. Like you say. Normal things. Normal lynx shadow. <laughs> it's a lynx. I'm gonna take that. Oh. I took it for a stuffed lynx at first, but I think it's actually made of wax. Oh my, I accidentally broke off a piece of his mouth. They're <laughs> just referencing the first first episode here. Oh yeah, oh, that's right. The ladder. Check the ladder. The ladder? The ladder. Oh, the ladder. I, I can't. Need... Oh, I can. Whoop, whoop. Oh, the hatch is locked. The hatch is locked. Nope, okay. Use his jaw to pry it open. <laughs> Wait, he's he's just, just practice a lot in the gym. Oh. This is sounding pretty spooky. Oh. 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 What's that? What's that on the ground? Ugh! It's a dead cat on the floor! I think it's rotten. It's. Her eyes are missing. How's it it's a she? Oh no! <laughs> There's something on the floor beside her mouth. It looks like a K. That's a really weird looking cat. It is. Look at that again. Sure is dead. The poor thing. Honestly, can't say what I want. Uh, I can. I cannot honestly say that I want to know how she died. Why? Probably just like of old age or something. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I got so tired of holding this key. Yeah. <laughs> do you mean to do this? Yeah. I thought it was gonna jump at some point, but it Aww. never did. I thought it was gonna go like. Rah! No, this isn't that kind of game. Yeah, that's right, it isn't. Well, I got another key. Probably to the attic door, right? I assume so. Yeah, yeah. go check that attic. Do you Do you notice the root is moving? No. Every once in a while, keep her on it. You know, it's funny, because it used to do... The, the crow used to do that, remember? You yeah. Gotta kill it. Keep her on that, on that root. I'm pretty sure it's moving. Only crows and weirdly spidery scorpion beasts can jump the plank. <laughs> oh, probably should have gotten something to see in the dark. Oh, hello. Are you a nun? You are of no worth to us anymore. There was barely any worth to begin with. That is outright rude. Oh no! I I'm gonna get out of here. Goodbye. I can't leave. Is this really the best option your supposedly brilliant mind could envision? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Fucking shit, I can't leave. A few meaningless words, a pathetic attempt of your guilt shattered conscience to remedy the situation, and then you hope to wash the blood from your hands with the cheap exit? Would you like a glass of water? Sounds like your voice is going. No! Look upon yourself, Anthony! See what you become when this is your only true legacy! Oh, I apologize, my name is not Anthony, it's you! Oh, oh geez. my god, it's the man who died in the first episode. <laughs> There's always my way. Is that Mr. Beechworth? Why is he swinging so much? Yeah, right? Somebody pushed him. Yeah. <laughs> I see something through the shadow, slowly taking form. What? Like what? Take your time, game. I'm not in any rush. It's a crow. I did not mean to frighten you prematurely. Honestly, that's what it felt like. It did. Oh. Oh. See you later, crow. Oh, oh it's yeah, it's his lady. dead wife or whatever. My dead wife. Who is this? This is, uh... This is the guy from before, right? I know! I know, sweetheart! How did this happen? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gosh, you sure are pale! <laughs> it's too late! Wait, this is her? I don't know, it's a different color, so I'm assuming... Maybe it was her that said that before? But his, but his name isn't Anna. It's too late! It's too late for us! No, it's him. Well, I don't know. But he can still choose. I have have to warn him. 
Whoa! I uh, see, it is goofy. It is goofy. <laughs> oh, I'm outside now. Yeah, so There's some on the ground near where the masked person was standing. It's a fragment of a broken mask. Piece of Greek tragic mask. I gotta put them together, probably. Probably. What were you saying? I was just making sure you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path. All right, cool. All right, you have another voice. Look to the sky! It reaches to the earth, but will never meet it. Can you see the magnificence of this infinite horizon? The cold, unattainable, all-embracing darkness? This is the outer limit of the threshold. Not far from here, the black waves of truth wash upon the veil that covers human eyes and it falls apart whoa everybody that's a Lawrence Olivier <laughs> style of performance over here right. mm, there is no death but rebirth there is no void but awakening I'm gonna stay away from that guy <laughs> oh it's another dude he's making snow angels uh, well, I'm too tired to go on to keep seeking what I was promised us but at least I'm here safe, going from this uh, terrible hazard appearing through my own shadow. Okay. You guys are crazy. He's on the ground. Yeah, I don't know why he's there. He's on the ground, who knows? Uh, let's probably back. Let's go this way. So I got a mask, I got a root, and I got a jawbone of a lynx. Or a jaw of a lynx, like a wax jaw. What is this? It's a howl. Oh. This is a hole in the ground. This is a big pit. I have seen gardeners digging holes like these when they need to transplant trees. You know, I like to keep Stick up your on hand my... in there. Oh, can I? I don't know. I cannot. Bullshit. What is this one? These trees are the only reminder of life around here. What about the people? <laughs> That's a pretty good reminder of life around here. It's as if they're guarding the statue. Those cultists, are they really alive though? I guess not. Underneath the statue's hood, there is an empty hole where a face should be. I remember seeing statues like this in Professor Wright's garden. Do you remember all the things from the earlier games? They're back. Probably need to in put that in spooky mask. form. Yeah. Because it wasn't spooky enough already. We feel this big mon call Mario people. Nope. Accurate. Or Cthulhu people. The shadow of a child sitting in the corner, shaking in terror. Hey, look, it's the Is eye. Is that shaking or like... He's like grinding. Convulsing. Yeah, I don't know. As if peering through a keyhole, I see things moving in the darkness. Oh, here we go, baby. More flashbacks. It's almost More like they probably should, just, should probably should just put these in the game already. No, I kind of like the idea of a flashback if they do Entire a... episode is a fucking, like, Not all of it. Clip. All of it is. Yeah. I don't know who this is. I like the style, but those themes, does Lena approve of this kind of art? What themes? I'll, I'll voice this person. Right. You have not lost your old sense of humor, Alexandre. Even after what happened. Do you not, do you not recall that sight? I would erase the memory if I could. I find that painting makes it easier to bear. I don't know who these people are. Alexandre and some other guy. What brings you here anyway? It has been years since we have heard from you. I thought our old cause had long been forgotten. Listen, Ashdown. What if I told you I found a way of crossing safely? <laughs> Meh. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, we'll go back to painting my ex. Love my ex. Grinding in terror. Dazzling light shines through the window. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. The shape of an eye is painted on the blackboard. It isn't painted on the blackboard. It's drawn on the blackboard. Listen, they're from Spain. <laughs> they probably didn't have money to get a real good translation. Guess not. Know. They don't know the difference. They, they use them interchangeably. Wait, what is this one? Dark Oat stands tall above, casts an eerie shadow upon the building's wall. This whole game's all about shadows and shit. Yeah, man. All right, so nothing here yet. Are we a reflection? ourselves this is sort of like the allegory of the cave metaphor the idea that if you chained people up and made them sit in a cave with only a light behind them and then shown them mm -hmm. shadows they would accept that as reality mm -hmm. whatever 
Doesn't matter. It's cheap, dude. Yeah. <laughs> On Calamari Rebels, they paint on blackboards and chalk out canvases. <laughs> Dark stuff. A grand piano! It's missing a key! No? No, you have the key yet, dog. You gotta find the key. Alright. Um, and there's nothing else in here? Right? Yeah, I don't see anything else. I believe it's probably something on the shore. Oh, perhaps a key? Whoa, what the fuck? It's that thing. It's a mirror. Doo -doo -doo. Whoa, that's w whoa, that's kind of cool. Look, there's like a Ooh, thing I back like here. That. It looks I like, like a that a lot. person. A Colonus, born of rock and craftsmanship. Colossus. Colossus. <laughs> a Colonus. A co what's a Colonus? I don't. I mean, they it's have like all a, these... it's a colonial. It's a colonial. I it's don't know. It's a sculpture to a colonial. A Colossus, born of rock and craftsmanship, relegated to the briny backwaters of this nightmare and to. The emotions of injury and despair. <laughs> These are big words for Heal Wilder. <laughs> I know, it's really hard for Heal. That fucking thing moved again! I swear to God that thing is moving. I believe you. It's I freaky. Alright, so... I'm, like, honestly, I'm gonna enjoy this episode a little more than the It's a little better than the rest of them. It's, oh look, it's an actual... Oh no, there's all these people here. I'm too embarrassed. The root is moving. Yes, right? It looks like a piano key. Taking that shit. Uh... Grand piano, it's missing most of its keys, except for the one that I got. Do, do, do. Oh no, I'm gonna get a uh, uh, stage fright. I gotta leave. <laughs> I don't wanna play or, the piano. There's too many weird anthropomorphic animals watching me. <laughs> anthropomorphic animals were to be anthropomorphic humans. Hmm. Too many furries. <laughs> yeah, they're just furries. Gray standing stones loom in the distance. They look uncannily ancient. Mm. Okay. A wooden coffin lies abandoned on the lawn. It's firmly closed. That clothes are real good. I can't open it, probably. These statues, it's almost as though they are the children of the standing stones that dot the horizon. They are less weather beaten at any rate. Probably because uh, they have a mirror world. Yeah, and they are near the water. Underneath the statue's hood, its face bears an evil grin. <laughs> oh, that's so scary. <sighs> and I can't take it. Oh, what does this say? Oh, it's backwards. Shit. Oh, shit, we gotta get a mirror out. No, I don't know. Do we? I mean, I, hopefully not. <laughs> These statues, it's almost as though they're the children of the standing stone. Oh, fuck off. I already said that. What does this say? Oh, it's a door, dude. It's not gonna say anything. It's gonna let you in. Oh, fuck. Oh, ugh, I don't like that guy. He's so tall. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Shapes are forming through the shadow. I cannot look away. I must see. <laughs> what is all this nonsense? What is all this? Isn't the this interesting? The shadow of giant Michael Jackson. <laughs> Gross. Don't want that in a school. Yeah. Room. In a school. His name is Professor Wright. Right. Yes. I recently had occasion to meet a dis d disciple of his. He referred to himself as a psychotherapist. I had the impression that Wright's methods were more closely to resemble those of a trade than yours. Whatever. He is eccentric indeed, but I think his thesis may have pro be proven correct. If so, he might have found a way to reach the threshold without attracting the attention of the custodian. A shortcut, one might say. A shortcut through the veil. The problem is the method itself. I have some unusual requirements, and we would need a man of great sensitivity. You know the peril of reaching the door. The last door? The door. Hmm. Cranking that soldier boy. W o. You still gonna be there? No, he's of course gone. not. But there's another mirror here. Is that a mirror or just a window? I think it's a mirror. Planks have been nailed over the windows, but what a purpose? There aren't enough planks to provide protection or keep the light out. That's a good observation. What? That there's not enough planks. Like, what's the point of doing it? To keep something in. Oh, fuck. A drawing of an eye. This isn't a painting. It uh, yet it looks more like Saturn and the ring surrounding it. Oh, no. What? Okay. Sure. It looks like a music sheet was left on this desk. Oh, you gonna play some dope ass music with that? There's something wrong with this music sheet. Well, it's probably that it's upside down, right? Or backwards? Gotta put it against the mirror. I saw the root move, dude. Right? Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not crazy. Not crazy, man. There we go. Back here. 
Good, I don't have to. Back in reality, brah. Snap back to reality. You. I'm a grown man. Oh, what does this one say? Same thing. Oh, it's the same See? thing. No, it's different, I think. The other one was smaller and had more text on it. Mm. Shadows linger in Zyla. Like insects trapped <laughs> in a cobweb. As its center, the spider lies in wait. Spiders, Spiders are, are kind of snakes. scary. What? Spiders are kind of scary. Spiders are pretty spooky. And I like, don't know, when they're though. in the middle of a web, I'm not that scared of them, though. If you're in the middle of a web and you see it and you walk into that web, That's then I'm the worst. scared of it. I hate that. This key fits perfectly. Not like it's a door or anything. <laughs> I remember some lessons from youth, but I could not possibly play a melody without the insistence of a music sheet, which I have. The melody seems simple enough. I think I can manage to play it. Bum, 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 bum. Nah, you ready? Got you got this dog, right? You know how to read music. There is something strange about this music sheet. The melody goes fa 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 sol la ti do do do. Okay. I believe in you. Ah, that's the exit key. Don't you know oh, that? Oh, okay. How could you be so silly and forget that that's the exit key? Oh wait, what about these ones? I think those look like oh, oh. That's it's not how music also exit. Yeah. It's not how music works, but okay. Fa 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 better. Run <laughs> run 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 away. For fa so la ti do do do. do. Do it again. Three do's. Sol la ti. Sol la ti, sol la da. Wait. One, two, three, four. Wait, one. Fuck. One, two, three, four. four. Then sol then la it's... ti, and then three do's. Yeah, that's it. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm going to start over. So, pause right here. Mm -hmm. Nope. That's sol. No. It's backwards is the mirror. Yes. You're right. Okay. So it's Isn't it four? Isn't it four the other? Try four on doing four on the first one. But there's three here. And it's backwards though. Just try it in the order. So wait, what? So do four dose? Yeah, try that. Well, you are looking at the instructions, so Oh no, wait. I think you're right. So it's I did it. Okay. As I suspected. Oh, I remember this song. It is the melody that I heard at Rat's Mansion. What's that? It's coming from another place. Oh my goodness, where could it be? Louie, get a close up on that music. Oh, it's backwards, Louie. Louie, get it. Well, ain't that the darndest thing? <laughs> you know, at home, I have my own player piano, <laughs> but I don't really play it very much. Yeah? Because it's a player piano. It I don't have itself. to play it. What is this thing? Oh, shit. Ugh. I like that. That is gross. A terrifying shape looms where the piano once stood. It's been pulled by threads like some monstrous puppet. The threads converge on a distant point. Something <laughs> is taking uh, from form there in the darkness. That does look like King Kong. <laughs> <sighs> More flashbacks. But oh. It's our old classroom, but that shadow, who? Is that Wakefield? I don't know who that is. Yeah, it's Wakefield. Go ahead and do Wakefield. This, this is not possible. The shape's beyond the light. And that is all I say. Oh, <laughs> my fingers. No, do not come any closer. My little fingers. My hand. How my hand? How would I play the piano? <sighs> Mercy or mercy? <laughs> mercy. He likes it. He's into it. Oh, no thanks. The Henshin Workshop really outdid themselves. Okay, what is this? There's something on the ground near where the masked person was lying. 
It's a fragment of a broken mask. Piece of a Greek tragic mask. Let me just put those together. A piece is still missing. You can't put two together, dummy. What are you crazy? You gotta oh. put three together. I'm so dumb. Don't you know that? Don't All you right. know you need three pieces of the Greek mask? So do I have to go this way again? Probably not, right? I won't go this way again. They're all probably done for. Okay. Wow. This will be the last boner you ever have, Batman. I think that's the, the phrase. Does he have boner repellent? <laughs> He's got boner repellent. He has to. He's so oh. attractive in that. Oh, ah, here you go. This is new. What does this have to do with anything? Oh, it's Sleeping Beauty. She's sleeping <gasps> in there. Oh. There's two curious symbols engraved on the stone. That is four, right? No, those aren't. Those aren't Roman numerals. No, no, those aren't Roman no, you're numerals. Right. For wraps, it's upside down, maybe, but I don't know. Hmm. Deeper into the forest. Oh, Ooh. oh, that's cool. Hello. It's all figures stands this guy's so chill about all the shit he's come across I today. I might have taken it for a tree. We're not breathing heavily, and eyes, and there was a music sting that happened. And it's, yeah. Inside I can see things near the threshold, getting closer and closer. Time for another flashback. Oh dear, another flashback with me. It's so sad. It's so weird how you're right. He is just very much like, well, this Ooh, is happening. That was pretty crazy. I don't know what to do about that. Who are these people? These are all the guys that were part of the... The kids, right? Yeah. Them. After what happened to Father Glid, I think they should shut down the school. Anthony, that thing we saw. Well, I don't know what it was. But well, what about your father's diary? Myths, legends, superstitions with no spaces in scientific observation. Anthony, talk to us. All right. My father discovered several ancient myths pertaining to the veil. They come from a variety of cultures and hence take many different forms. But they all say something similar about what resides near the threshold. No, I just said many. I said Man. many different forms. Many different forms. Any, an ancient being that sleeps within the fog protecting the door from intruders, a vengeful custodian. But no matter, at any rate, my serum was a failure. Gross. We got but a glimpse of what still exists out there. Nothing conclusive. But what if the serum had worked? I think that was you, but it doesn't matter. I don't know. As I said, I have no data. And those myths, what did they say? Those tales. They all say that if an intruder got too close and was discovered by what sleeps in the fog, then the custodian would be relentless. It would pursue the intruders and destroy them, whatever they may hide. There would be a few ways to protect themselves from its rage. Bye. Goodbye. So we got some intruders and shit. All right. And a custodian. Oh, it's another thing. Symbol. Hmm. hmm. I wonder if I keep seeing these symbols that will appear. Oh wait, this goes somewhere? What did, oh, more symbols. I'm gonna get lost in this wood. Oh yeah, lost in the wood, baby, oh yeah! That was like a, a, a Blair Witch symbol. Cult of vibin'. This is the stock market. <laughs> Good one. Thank you. Uh, God, I'm gonna get lost here. What does this one say? Uh, it's a uh, triangle. It's a, it's a witch it's, hat. It's a finger. It's a finger sandwich. Finger, you know, like a little tiny sandwich that they put like an olive in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. finger food. Finger food, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. All right, I'll go this way. I'm gonna get lost in this wood. I don't give a fuck. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Go go to the finger food, dude. Oh, yep, you went back to where you were. Oh, thank God. Okay, so maybe I won't get lost. What is this? Perhaps thing? you have to follow the symbols that are on the, that thing? I don't know. Okay, I'll try it. So it's like a VVV and then a... So like wherever the arrow is pointing? Yeah. Okay, I'll try that. Oh, oops, back here now. Yeah, I think you just exit. I think that's the beginning, right? Oh, okay. I just wound up over here, so I figured that's how I got back in the woods, but I guess it's not. Okay, so this one says to go somewhere oh wait shit i shouldn't have gone this way fuck god damn it all right what does this one say the cult of fancy sandwich i'll join that cult um not to go anywhere and this takes me here 
Oh god. Sideways H? Um, yeah, this is like, uh, keep talking and nobody explodes. Hmm. C? Nope. Yeah, I have literally no idea how you're supposed to figure this out. That's the, you're almost dead in hangman symbol. <laughs> I'm a bit behind. There you go. There, so go to the right of that. Yep. This is so dumb. Oh! Wow, is this the bit? A shadow strongly resembled in my patient stands in the clearing. And now that I look at it, the shadow sure does look a lot like me. Same hair, same body shape. Am I the same person? I can see through it, just what? like the other shadows. One of the twists is that he is the fit. Is it real? I don't know why that's a twist, right? Probably. Probably they're the same person. Four men are taking careful precaution. I know not for what. Flashback time, baby. I don't know how players found that on their own. Fucking me neither. I don't know how players made it this far. Looks like a vagina. Uh, this, Captain Skid. Oh, remember Captain Skid? Sk Captain Skid Mark in his underwear because he shit himself. DeVitt, are you certain that he can guide us safely through the fog? His results are extraordinary, Anthony. There's the best chance we have of avoiding the gaze of the custodian. There is no doubt that the captain survived the encounter before. He even kept a companion from arm. We will finally see what lies beyond the curtain. It is time! They just keep it around because they're... I like his oh. voice. Oh, I've seen this before. Nope. Yeah, blaze it, baby. Boy, seeing, seeing guys in robes and masks is only scary the first 20 times. I want this blood! Oh! Hey, that looks like that uh, painting. painting. Yeah. We're, we figured it out, game. Oh, it's like they just had wildfires, too. Yeah, kind of inappropriate. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't like that. Not so now cool. I just leave, right? Something on the ground, apparently. When you click forward? Here? Go forward. Go, go this go way? Forward. No, 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 forward. This way? Yeah, what's that? Oh, it's a... Is that a Where? harpy? It's a huge statue of a mythical creature. It's a bird with the head of a wolf? Or is that a lion? I can't tell. They both look exactly Wolves the same. and lions, as you know, look very similar. Wolves it, and lions. It's almost like they're not canine or feline. They look like they're the same fucking animal. Wakefield? More like stupid head. <laughs> or like baked field, because oh, he's so high, he can't tell the difference between a wolf and a lion. What does this say? The inscription reads, 30 birds! Yeah, let's go on down to 30 birds and have ourselves a good time. <laughs> uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Clearly that's one, one bird. It's one big bird. What if it's one big bird made of 30 birds? Hold on! No, that's not what big bird sounds like. <laughs> what does big bird sound like? Uh, hey! Hey, it's me! It's big bird! Oh, I'm big bird. I'm big bird. He has like a high voice. Hi, ah, Big Bird! Hi, ah, Big Bird! Snuffle up, I guess. Snuffy! This is terrible. Yeah, yours was pretty close. Eh. It's an enormous black feather! Wow. Pick it up. I'll take that. Despite its size, it's extraordinary. It's like feathers are lightweight! It's like a fucking feather! Jesus. Ah. Wow, this feather's really light. You can, can I fly with it. Yeah, right? Can I fucking jump off this? This summit rises above the fog. Though so all I see is fog, an endless ocean of fog. It's fog! <laughs> oh! It's a bird! It's a plane! What's that noise? Something out there is getting closer. If there's a big fuck off bird. No! Oh, it's 30 birds! I told you it was 30 birds turned one big bird! Spooky. What weighs more, a pound of bricks or a pound of feathers? Feathers. Feathers are, feathers are lighter. Duh. 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 That's a stupid question. God. Can somebody ban Kiko Mang for <laughs> asking stupid questions? It's, who's Who this? Is he? Oh, this is your guy. This okay. is your guy with the blonde lady. Oh yeah, that's right. Is he asleep? He is now. It has been so long. I had begun to lose hope that he would ever awaken. Were you able to speak with him? 
Anthony. David has forgotten everything. Everything! Good heavens. I may be for the best. Our research is likely to take some time. If he truly has amnesia, his condition will protect him until we are ready. But should we fail, remember what happened to Hugo. You remember what happened to Hugo? Oh, I do. He, uh, he discovered, well, in a train station, that an old man who was just selling magician stuff was actually a great movie maker. Yeah, he was he was George Mills. He was George DeMills. George Mills, and he made the most famous famous movies with real pioneer and special effects. About a moon that got a rocket in his eye. Rocket to the moon, yeah. I think that's a real great thing that we should bring up in this uh, episode because I think it'll pertain a lot to how this kind of shot into our eye like it's, a moon. Wow, it just yeah. feels like a totally new thing, it, you know? It really adds a lot. It really does. It's yeah. just like when people saw George DeMillier yeah, they're like, oh my god, they're like, the way. wow, yeah. It's like when I see this, it's sort of like when you see like a train coming at you, and you want to jump in front of it because you're miserable. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Anyway, Ashdown entered the veil in full knowledge of what might happen, and we, we will succeed when right fails. Failed. We will use the serum to induce primal terror in a controlled environment. In one stroke, we shall overcome all our obstacles. But when the time comes, we must have a means of guiding our friend, dear friend, back to us. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds dope, I'll dude. Get, I'll get right on that. There. He will be safe. In tiny font, we say. The tiniest of all fonts. The teeniest, tiniest of all the fonts. The font is going to get smaller until we have to like go like this to read it, and then a spooky face is going to pop uh, up. That's a good, that'd be a good jump scare. That'd be a real good jump scare. I love me some jump scares. I don't be spooky. There's something on the ground near where the masked person was kneeling. Perhaps I it's have a no mask. What you say? Perhaps it's a mask? I have no sense of patterns, and so yet, so I don't know what this could possibly be. What is this? Oh, it's a fragment of broken mask! Trippy transitions feel like SNES or RPGs. They kind of do. Put them together. Oh, I will. Oh, ah. you fixed it. Too much you need glue. An eyeless mask. It's similar to the one that I found in Alexandria's safe house in London. I'll put that on. Hell yeah. This mask is eyeless. I cannot see a thing. Why did I put it on? Well, oh no, there's goops. Is that goops? Where? No, it's just weird. That's just a fog moving. It made it look like there was goops getting on the ground. Oh. It's uh, just that fog, though. Gets you know, all hit out. Just a little fog. Just a little fog. It's not a big deal. Oh, all these people are gone. Oh, man. Can't do any cool voices anymore. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure you'll have plenty of opportunity. Anybody here? Hello? Nobody? You're alone, buddy. Mask on. Oh, it worked. Okay. Oh, I'm just hanging out here in this cool, uh... No, oh, gee, Scoob! Cool a man is standing next to the open curtain. I don't know how I can see that, because the mask has no eyes. That is also a great point. <laughs> yeah, you know. Maybe it's like one of those masks that's like, got fake eyes. Like, no eyes, you know, where it's like mesh. Oh, you yeah, You can see yeah. through it, but no people can see it. Scrim. Oh. Welcome, Dr. Wakefield. Alexander, wait, this is Wakefield, yes. Alexander Dupre? Yes, I've been waiting for you. We all have. Let me get the camera over here. We got Alexander Dupre. How'd I get to this place? I was in that pit at Ellis Moore when suddenly I found a vid, but he disappeared. I journeyed through the fog and found myself here. But how is this possible? Ellis Moore, I do not know that name. Oh. Many paths in our world lead to this place, Dr. Wakefield, and I only know a few. And some of Zaleth's mirrors you see, the truth leaking into our world. And in others, you see yourself. I knew you would reach us at last. We were certain of it. Hey? Did you say he or we? I said we, but I meant he. Okay. All right. I'm glad I asked. So it's he. It's he. The founder of the first order. The, the first artist. founder of the order? The first or the founder of the first order. Is this a Star Wars thing? <laughs> Welcome to Star Wars Saga Last Door. We're doing a tie-in with George Lucas to finish our kickstarter. I hate that Rose character. 
Oh. No I don't. Yeah, don't be. I'm trying to think of something that a woke person would say about Star Wars. I don't like how that bros character was completely sidelined in the third movie. That was a really shitty thing to do. Well, anyway, the first order. I mean, the, the first, first founder, founder of, of the, the first order. order? <laughs> <laughs> Who founded the first order? Uh huh. The artifacts. The art of the artifacts. Do not yet know his name. <laughs> Do you not yet know his name? Why can't I read anymore? This alcohol, man. <laughs> Let's keep going. So who is it? Is it Hugo, is it Anthony, or is it Jeremiah? I bet it was Anthony. I think it's Anthony too. Do you mean Mr. Bakewood? No, Anthony started Fuck. a group at school, but by the end of his life, he had lost determination to go any further. Do you not yet know his name? Hugo. I guess it must be. Do you mean Mr. Ashtown? No, Hugo came here long before the rest of us. He made a terrible mistake. He peered into his own truth and he was transformed. Do you not yet know his name? No, I don't! Bye! <laughs> Do you mean Mr. DeVitt? Truth can be hard to accept. Hobbit a Yes, Jeremiah gathers all in the same room and we shot really cool band photos. Yeah, that's the same poster. Fedit de Quescate. See that no one knows. How I can't speak Latin. <laughs> we knew the final truth which lay beyond the threshold. This is what the playwright was committed to finding. This was Jeremiah's obsession. The first language which is said to grant the power of creation. After our experiment at school, we realized the path of the ancient ones was watched by a fearsome guardian. We needed a way to circumvent the inexorable gaze of the bird. I found a Captain Skid who had met the bird and lived. We decided to use him as a test. It was a catastrophe. <laughs> we eventually found the survivors, but their Bad memories move. were incomplete. <laughs> Jeremiah had fared the worst. He had been left devoid of any memories that were related to our efforts. Boy, is that nice. I know. It's a good thing that he had no memory of the thing that he was going and chasing after. Amnesia in video games? Who knew? Surprising. It's almost like there's a game called Amnesia huh. that I might be playing Put some money in towards it! <laughs> we to our amnesia. We were desperate to find a solution. Hugo tried and failed, but then Anthony and I miraculously came across a formula that lay forgotten for centuries. Excuse me, I'm enjoying a Mount Gay rum. <laughs> At last, it was time to bring Jeremiah back into our ranks. That was nearly a disaster as well. I did not anticipate Anthony's sudden madness or the extent of Father Ernest's decline. Mercifully, Jeremiah's life was spared. But something else was wrong. When Jeremiah reached me, he did not answer or did not remember everything. He had changed. He told me that he was going to put an end to all of this. He still means to acquire the first language, but he wants to use it to ruin our work! He has already crossed the threshold. Once he learns the final truth, none of this will ever have existed. The Order, the Door, or ourselves. You must stop him, Doctor. You must stop him before the curtain closes forever. Why? I just don't. Yeah, I don't want to. I think he's doing a good thing. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Once more, I found myself enshrouded in dense fog. Gradually, the fog dissipated, revealing a busy street in London. London's gold. The mask that I had worn lay on the ground, melting like wax over the wet cobblestones. Oh, that's what that is. Hmm, I thought it was vomit. <laughs> yeah, or like, I don't know, something mold. Dizzy and exhausted, I wandered the streets until at last I returned home. It seemed very small, as it always does after a long journey. Cause I get so fucking fat on my journeys, I eat so much. As I removed my coat, I found a feather in one of the pockets. So small. And the same one that I had discovered before being engulfed by the black mass of the smirg. 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 With a jolt, I realized that it had not 
been a dream, and I was ashamed at how quickly I had deluded myself into thinking otherwise. Good. Go. I kindled a fire and placed the feather on the crackling flames. As it burned, I heard the distant calls of crows on the street. <coughs> Despite the heat, <coughs> I shivered. <coughs> My patient and friend, Jeremiah DeVitt, had sacrificed himself. He had accepted the consequences of his friend's actions and his own as well. He had crossed the threshold, leaving the veil through the red curtain of truth and forever closed the last door. That, that had led to these horrors. That is a run on sentence. <laughs> but I had not found the strength to follow him. I could not take his place. I doubt that I will ever learn the fates of those who remained there. Those who are hopelessly trapped in that place. <laughs> My thoughts are now turn, now turn increasingly to the last mission to which my friend Kaufman entrusted me. I must make sure that no one ever learns what we discover. How would I do that? I do not know, but I will do I that. I guess I just won't say anything. I guess I just won't bring it up in conversation at parties. I just won't bring it up being like on a job interview, like what's the most dangerous thing you ever done? Let me tell you, one of my strengths is closing the last door. <laughs> That's that, it. There you go. That's the game. That's I mean, I'm sure I picked the worst ending. I was going to say, I felt like there was two endings, right? You could either go in or you can go out. Yeah. I just didn't want to stop him, basically. Yeah, wanna... but like, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel right to stop what no, he was yeah, doing. No, I don't know why I should have stopped him. It was the best thing that the door closed. Like, yeah, look at all the evil that All the bad, all all bad stuff and all the creepy stuff. Why would you want that? And why would I stop Devit from doing the they thing? They didn't do a good job explaining why the cult was doing their thing. Or why I should help them. They just were like... Yeah, they're going through the threshold to do stuff. They're not well, saying like we're gonna make a better world or anything like that. Yeah, it was. They were just like, oh man, that's pretty crazy. Seeing the other side, it's pretty nuts. It's pretty nuts. Let's do it again. Look it's at like, all the bad that's occurred because of it. And it's like, okay. and then they're like, oh, Devitt did it. Whoa, what a surprise, right? And now he's over here trying to stop it, stop him from doing it. I'm like, why? If he why? did it, he's taking responsibility yeah, for his he, actions. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. I don't know, you made the right choice. I don't think that's a shitty ending. I'm not gonna stand in his way. Well, yeah. I don't think it's a shitty ending, but I think there's probably more to the ending. No, that I, I, it doesn't seem as much longer from what I can tell. Oh, about really? That's what is I, the other ending? So the other ending, I mean- So I, either I go down the stairs or I go through the curtain, right? I think that's, I think those are the two options, yeah. So what happens if I go through the curtain? What, how'd you guys like the last door? Should I have gone with the other ending? Let, let me know if I'm a bad gamer. Doesn't even say. What a great, what a great walkthrough. Devitt's fate will be unlocked if you go behind the curtain. Should we just pull up a YouTube video and see yeah, what it not? is? Thank you so much, guys. Language translation. Okay, there's a lot of people that do language translation. Yeah. Yeah, um. I think this is the right choice. Right? I don't see the other reason. I don't know how I feel about this game. I didn't like it. I know how I feel about it. I don't like it. I, I kind of, I was like, okay, I kind of like the last two episodes, but the first two of... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what happened. That's the thing about most of this game, is I feel Fair like... Fair point. We played this whole game, and I'm still kind of like... Why did they even do why, that? Why is this happening? What's going on? It's yeah. a lot of esoteric, like, spooky stuff, but none of it really is cohesive. And I am not connected to any of it. Yeah. I don't... Oh. And they switched the characters so much. Oh, shit, it's the Latin. Ooh. Oh, man. It's spooky. They're also hinting at, like, the whole thing that, like, we might be David, perhaps, because we were looking in a mirror or whatever. Or maybe we're the same. We could meet the same fate. Yeah, I guess. But the yeah. end. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Once more, I found myself enshrouded in dense fog. Gradually, the fog dissipated, revealing a busy street 
in London. Dizzy and exhausted, I wandered the streets until, at last, I returned home. This is the bit now Wakefield says people split. Ah, the belly can't you sit? I crossed the dusty threshold like an intruder. I noticed for the first time that I was holding the robe of the playwright in my hand. I kindled a fire and threw the robe into the flames. As I watched it burn, I remembered the black ocean. I had stood there on the beach, staring up at the terrifying heights of the verticonious Mount Quaff. Quaff? Quaff. Where the verb said some shit. Then someone touched my arm. It was Dr. Wakefield. Our encounter on the endless dunes had not been an illusion. His quest to find me, he had ventured into the veil itself. He said nothing, but it was not necessary. He had gone to take my place, to sacrifice himself. He stayed behind and closed the door after giving me the chance to escape. His reasons, I will never know. So I do not know what happened to Alexander and the others. But I fear that they are trapped in Zalathala for, for all time. I started at the endless rain splattering. I stared at the endless plane splattering the window. And I remembered that I had something else to do. At last, promise to keep when the Nikwas Sikate. Siat. Latin shit. Latin shit. So, like the same ending, basically. Basically, except for. Now Wakefield dies instead of. DeVitt's it. fine. Wakefield continues on. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That's, uh... Whatever. That was not really great. That was a little disappointing.